Please give her a round of applause. <laughs> the revered officer for the day's ceremony is Colonel Troy B. Alexander, Commander, United States Army Navy Brigade. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the indication given by the special captain and remain standing for the arrival of the official party and rendering of honor to the Federal Republic of Germany and the United States of America. Please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we humbly bow before your throne of grace and thank you for this beautiful day. Lord, we ask that you will be with us all today, that the ceremony will not just be another event on our calendar, but will be a testament of excellence for all of us to follow as we seek to be all that you have called us to be and all that our country needs us to be. We thank you for the demonstration of excellence that Command Sergeant Major Thomas has shown in her many years of service. We thank you that in your providence you have placed her and her family in the leadership of the United States Army NATO Brigade. Strengthen, encourage, and empower Command Sergeant Major Thomas to lead and advise as you would have her do. Give her the wisdom, the courage, and the strength to be an effective and compassionate leader. Guide her each and every day as she serves our country in this position. We are grateful for her, we are grateful for her as a sister in arms and as a defender of our freedom. We give you glory, honor, and thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
So Command Sergeant Major Thomas is best qualified coming on board with being able to provide that type of advice to a brigade commander. I'm honored to have her on board, but she comes with strong credentials and a lifelong commitment to the Army values and to serving her nation in Israel. She comes with a lifelong uh, commitment to really showing her credibility, whether it was in the 604th Combat Aviation Brigade, or the Special Warfare Group that she was a member of, or her current assignment coming out of the Reception Battalion. This type of caliber of tried and true support is what I, as a Brigade Commander, need. And in our private, candid conversations, I know that she has the brigade's best interest at mind and taking care of soldiers at mind when she is providing me that advice of how to put the right ingredients to make a spectacular, spectacular soup. But most importantly, most importantly, how to care for it, how to nurture it, and going all the way back to even understanding where the ingredients came from in the first place. That's the expertise that Sergeant Major Thomas is bringing on board. We have with us somebody that is an advocate for every member of our team. We have somebody with us that is an advocate for the Army. We have somebody that is giving advice, that is advocating for the mission and the NATO deployed forces that we have that we take care of. Whether they're in Chechen or Naples or Greece, it doesn't matter, she understands and has the history behind her to understand the complexities of our environment. So I'm honored today to introduce uh, Command Sergeant Major Thomas to our team, to our family here at the NATO Brigade, and welcome her, welcome her family, and we look forward to working with her and her engaged leadership as she makes her way around the brigade. Thank you.
no matter what I might face throughout life. Most importantly to my children, Kenny, who's in college, and I hope he's watching on Facebook, <laughs> and my daughter, Kira, you are my inspiration, and that is why I do what I do. Thank you for sticking with me through thick and thin, no matter how many times we lose across this world. I love you. We have some exciting years ahead of us. In closing, I hope you all are excited, as I am this morning, to be on this journey together. I will strive to uphold my responsibility to this strategic brigade each and every day. I thank you all for coming. Army Strong, 37, signing on the next.